What if someone said to you that plants could help cure type 1 diabetes or be used to create a vaccine against anthrax? Here at Penn, Professor Henry Daniel, his team, and the new high-tech greenhouse are now making what seems like science fiction into a reality. At Penn, we have developed a new concept of making and delivering vaccines. This concept is that there is no need to use the pathogens at all. Traditional vaccines contain killed pathogens, which are inactivated versions of the bacteria, viruses, or other microorganisms that can cause disease. However, to store and deliver these vaccines requires refrigeration, a costly technology that is also unavailable in certain places around the world. And sometimes, the supposedly killed pathogens still have enough life to cause disease. They need to be transported in coal, stored in coal, and then delivered in coal. Many of the remote parts of the world don't even have electricity. So, so by the time it reaches the immunization center, the vaccine loses its potency. Dr. Daniel says that the recent polio outbreak in Africa is a prime example of how traditional vaccines, the need for refrigeration, and the lack of available resources in certain areas of the world are calling for a change in vaccination process and expense. By injecting therapeutic proteins into lettuce cells, Dr. Daniel has been able to make great progress towards replacing traditional vaccines with versions that are cheaper, safer, and more readily available. So our concept is producing these vaccine proteins in plant cells and delivering them orally. So these plant cells, once they make these proteins, can be stored at room temperature for months and years. And therefore, there is really no need for cold chain and no need for the pathogen. It will be a paradigm shift in delivery of drugs. Penn School of Dental Medicine has built a state-of-the-art greenhouse for Dr. Daniel in order to advance his study of oral drug delivery systems. The greenhouse houses plants that will either help treat chronic diseases like diabetes and hemophilia or protect against infections such as polio or HPV. Lettuce cells um, have strong cell walls and therefore they protect the vaccines and we have produce um, more than 30 different vaccines using little cells and uh, the uh, lettuce leaves are very thin. Uh, we need to dry these leaves, powder them and make them capsules. Capsules containing dried crushed lettuce leaves can be stored and shipped at room temperature and easily swallowed. These green drugs have the potential to greatly reduce the cost of drug production and delivery, allowing people worldwide easier access to life-saving medicine. This would change the landscape and save lives because right now those who can't afford the vaccine don't get it and they die. The goal is to get this to the human studies next year. So this is a very uh, ambitious uh, uh, time frame but uh, we have the resources, we have the partners, and so I'm optimistic 